In today's video, we will be looking at Yotasaba Volume 1 and whether it's a clean manga or not. And if you want to find out the answer, stay tuned. My name is Zeke Matthew, and Animated Christians are for you who like original movies and series in the video card above, or clean anime and manga reviews just like this one, so if you like the video, consider subscribing. Have you ever wondered what Curious George would look like in a manga format? Then look no further than Yota Sabo Volume 1, done by Kiharioko Azuma. It tells the story of a young girl no older than the age of four or five named Yota Saba moving in a new area and is an orphan and is currently being taken care of by her dad as she goes on some wild adventures learning valuable lessons. The art style is drawn in that moi art style that you've come to know and love of current anime, and each character is drawn in a different style of the moi trend that keeps them from blending in from one another. Yota Saba, a very young girl, curious about the world around her and is always cheerful but sometimes gets into trouble not knowing any better. While her dad never seems to worry about Yota Saba and lets her play on her own with their neighbors as he works on the PC. Not sure what he does as well as teaching her lessons as well and very kind hearted. And then a very tall person named Jumbo who has a sort of macho personality and has a crush on Asagi and their neighbors are three girls Asagi at the age of 23, Anna at the age of 10, and Fuka at the age of 16 are neighbors of Yota Saba and will play with Yota Saba in her wacky way while learning about saving energy, waving, and who to trust. This one is very well placed together and I could not ask for better because the visual draws your attention to the panel letting your brain figure out the motion. The sound effects were really well placed throughout this manga. There is no fan service in volume 1 but in later volumes there might be swimsuits but other than that there is no fan service. The negatives is maybe that her dad does not seem to scold Yota Saba enough as a parent should, but still cares for her and maybe a character that smokes. I have not come across any foul language either. This is one of the cleanest manga I have read and this does not have any fan service that I'm aware of except maybe a new volume and is an excellent first manga if you're looking for something a little more entertaining than say Curious George that holds up valuable lessons and if you'd like me to review more in the series leave a comment below and never forget Animated Christians is just for you.